Okay, Ram Kamal ji, thank you for taking out the time to talk to us on Storytellers. <laughs> Thank really you so much. It. I am very happy that I'm chatting with you finally because I've been observing your shows and uh, you've been very interactive with all yeah. your guests and it's Thank always a pleasure to talk to somebody who is interactive. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you. So, well, you know, what, what interests me most about this conversation is that, you know, I love talking to storytellers and you've been a storyteller with many different hats. You've told stories as a journalist, you've told stories as a writer, you've told stories as a director and you've told stories as a producer. Yeah. Um, so before we get into, you know, your film, which of course is, has had a great worldwide premiere, tell us a little bit about how your journey began. Ah, uh, my journey began exactly from the word which is your show, is, your show is all about, being a storyteller. Mm. I think when I was a student, I always wanted to tell a story. But it was my father who actually kind of uh, probably saw it in me and then when I was uh, completing my high school mm. and I did my honours in history, mm. Uh, my graduation. After that, he said that uh, you must pursue something in journalism. So, I guess my father could probably, you know, see it in me that I am more of a person who would like to tell my own stories. But uh, it went all very hunky dory till I got my first job in Calcutta, which was an Asian Age. Mm -hmm. And there I joined in as a features, uh, in the features team, where I got enough opportunity and chance to talk about various things from art to literature to culture to movies, mm -hmm. uh, all mostly retaining to Bengali culture, but mm -hmm. once in a while Bollywood celebrities would visit Calcutta and that's how I would get a chance to kind of interact with, mm -hmm. with celebrities, be it Asha Bhosle or uh, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have interviewed a lot of legends like uh, Mani Ratam sir, uh, MF Hussain sir, okay. Asha Bhosle ji, Lata ji. Mm -hmm. I did my first talk show actually mm -hmm. in Calcutta which was called Talk Bangla. Mm -hmm. And there uh, I uh, had my 13 episodes where I featured Bollywood actors. And in that point of time Priyanka Chopra and you know, uh, Madhur Bhandarkar, Himesh Shramya, Shreya Goshal, they all featured in my talk mm -hmm. show which was a kind of a rare thing in a Bengali, Bengali sure. channel. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, somehow got noticed by Mr. Nari Hira in, in Magna. Mm -hmm. So I got an offer from Stardust as a, to join them as, uh, as a reporter. And uh, that's when I shifted my base from Calcutta to, to Bombay. Professionally, I had a fantastic team to work with. I had my editor Sonali Jafar. Now she's a very popular, a, yeah. a very popular producer. Yeah, I've, uh, I've had a chance to work with her on some shows. Oh, okay. lovely. Yeah. So she, she was my uh, guru, mentor. Yeah. She's the one who helped me a lot. Yeah. She's the one who in fact went and spoke to Mr. Hira that I should write a comfortable book on Hema Malini which happened mm -hmm. in 2005. Mm -hmm. uh, Bhavna Someji was also writing a book mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. And hers was uh, something which Hema Ji was involved in it and it was an authorized mm -hmm. one. Uh, and I just started writing. So when I s actually went up to Hemaji, a lot of people think that oh, you, you, I'm very close to Hemaji, and Hemaji wanted me to write this book. Mm -hmm. It's just the opposite. Mm -hmm. So when I actually went and said Hemaji that Hemaji, I'm writing this book on you, she said that don't write because somebody else is writing, and uh, I don't think so. It'll be it'll be fair enough to mm -hmm. for you to write another book because I'm already kind of given time on this one, and I don't have time any extra time uh, to kind of devote. So I said, fair enough, uh, so let me do my work and uh, we'll, we'll touch base soon. And then gradually when I ended up writing the first two uh, chapters, I had emailed her and I said that you read it and if you don't like it, we scrap the project. If you like it, then we take it ahead. Sure. And that's when she uh, read and then she asked me, she called me and she asked me that, uh, oh, did you write this? I said, yeah, I mean, hey, Maji, yeah, I, I did. <laughs> uh, and then she said, you're too young to write a biography. Generally, authors are, sure. you know, salt and pepper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she said that, you know, uh, you're too young to write. I said, that just yeah. trust my vision and, and if you just give me this opportunity, then... Mm -hmm. And it's a coffee table book. So a lot of people didn't have the concept of coffee table book. They were not really aware of what is a coffee table book. So pictorially, you tell mm -hmm. a story is coffee table book. Sure. In fact, when I wrote the, the book, which has done really well and become best bestseller, Beyond the Dream yeah, Girl, which is again an authorized biography, mm -hmm. a lot of people say, you're writing, aapne do -do book kyun likhe? why did you write two books? I said, that's a coffee table book. Mm. And through pictures, I had to tell her story. Mm. 
So that was really challenging for me because I had to go to the RK studios, figure out her first shot, figure out her, you know, uh, the costume in Padmini's costume she mm -hmm. wore for Jis Desh Me Ganga Bhaiti for the audition, mm -hmm. to the, for the director Mahesh call. Mm -hmm. That's when I realized that some, somewhere deep down, probably I can tell a story. So if I can tell a story of a superstar, mm -hmm. I feel Hemaji is India's first female superstar. Uh, with due regards to all other actors and actresses, yeah. uh, but uh, so if I could if I could tell a story of, of 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 a superstar, then I can probably tell a story of a normal person, sure. like a normal sure. human being. Sure. Sure. Thereon, I moved on to Pritish Nandi Communications as the vice president. I worked with Pritish Nandi and Rangita Nandi mm -hmm. on over twelve films. Mm -hmm. So my role was to kind of strip doctor, mm -hmm. uh, do the cast mm -hmm. and take it to the floor, hmm. so till pre-production. Hmm. Then I got this offer from Mr. Hira again. And then, you know, I, I became uh, the editor-in-chief of Stardust. So it was a journey that I really, really cherished. Mm -hmm. But beyond a point, I always felt that I have left something halfway out there in, in British mm -hmm. Nandi Communications. And I wanted to do something of my own, which I, which I ended up not doing. So that's when uh, Rajshri Oja, a friend of mine and a filmmaker who made Aisha with Sonam Kapoor. Mm -hmm. She was planning a, a fine art series with Z TV. Mm -hmm. That's called Bin Kuch Kahe. Mm -hmm. And that's when we met Subhash Chandra Ji with Rajshri and uh, she wanted me to be a part of it and then uh, I, yeah. I, we both co-produced the show. Mm -hmm. That's when I decided that no, I would make a film, but as a producer. Mm -hmm. I never thought I'm going to be a director. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when I, I thought that I, I should start with a short film because in Bombay to do a film needs a lot of budget. Mm -hmm. So that's when I met Aritra Das, who produced Cakewalk, and uh, Shailendra Kumar, and Dinesh Gupta. Mm -hmm. So they came together and uh, we decided to do a film. Uh, this, this is all happening in between me writing my fiction and me writing my book on Hema Malini. Mm -hmm. And uh, so for that I was interviewing Aisha because there was a chapter on Aisha. Mm -hmm. And uh, while interviewing I, I saw that you know she's matured a lot and she's a completely different Aisha. She's mm -hmm. no more the dhoom girl Aisha. She's a matured Aisha and she speaks different. I mean you met her recently yeah, out there yeah. in US. You yeah. must have also noticed the change in Aisha. Right, 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 right. Yeah. And I was writing a short story on uh, this cakewalk which is based on the uh, life of a housewife. Mm. And I wanted somehow to cast her because I didn't want to have a very conventional cast that oh mm. is this a housewife's role then XYZ actor should only act mm. but then you know she threw the Brahmastra or the or what you say the missile towards me saying that I'll only do the film if you are directing the film okay. he said that you have conceived the story you're coming and giving me a narration you're telling what the character needs to do. Mm. That's not the job of a producer. Mm. It was Aisha Deol who just actually literally took me to the cliff and pushed me mm. to make me realize that I have a pair of wings and all these years I was just walking and I could have, sure. I could, I could fly. Sure. So, tell me a little bit about the film. You know, every woman goes through certain situations in their life, mm -hmm. which is, uh, which is a decision-making situation. Mm. And here in my story, uh, it is about revisiting a decision which she had already taken. Mm. And here she needs to kind of, you know, either face the situation mm. or, uh, you know, uh, come, to a, come to a point where she needs to regret about her decision. Mm -hmm. And everything happens around baking a cake, which is the baked Alaska. Mm -hmm. So what a lot of people have seen and, and critiques have written, I, I quite like the, their, their way of seeing the film. They said that Shilpa Sen character uh, says that life is not a cakewalk. Mm. And the film is made for a certain section of, of women, mm. uh, the working class women. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, being a man, how did you come about writing something like this? Ha, huh. that's a very gender specific question though. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, know, I, a lot, I, I, a lot I, of times I, people write about something, oh, I can identify with this because of X, Y, Z reasons. Yeah. But for you, what was it like thinking, you know, through the lens Look, of... Look, uh, the whole idea came to my mind because uh, 
me and my wife both are working mm. and all my friends uh, in today's generation i see them as working couple mm -hmm. i barely see a, a housewife mm -hmm. but to give due credit to all the housewife it is a full time job but my story deals with a housewife who also would like to be a professional mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that is the situation which i have seen a lot happening mm -hmm. in and around me mm -hmm. and i wanted to address it in a very sweet form mm -hmm. it is a very neutral film of a situation that we all face in today's time mm -hmm. and we all need to address it mm -hmm. with a pinch of salt and with a little bit of a smile in our face mm -hmm. and i think that's the beauty of the film because of the, uh, they all you know they, they all solve their their mm -hmm. their problem in mm -hmm. fact the movie starts with this line that the day you learn to accept the day the day you learn to forget an apology then you were old or something like that yeah so you're you're yeah. a much happier person in life right right so i think that gives the the whole soul sure. of the film sure 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 very interesting what is your advice to you know young filmmakers or new filmmakers who are trying to break it into the world of short films. you mean younger than me <laughs> well young young in terms of young in terms of experience <laughs> let me put it that way look for any young filmmaker i would say that uh, just pursue your dream because everybody discouraged me when i wanted to make my first film and that will going to happen to you mm. also mm. so there is no way you can run away from the fact that people are going to say oh wow just go and make a film sure but uh, a lot of people had questions like why a why a short film b where will you put it c youtube ke alawa koi jagah nahi hai dikhane ke liye nobody takes in short films mm. so for the young filmmakers i would say that please pursue your dream don't give up mm. so what's next what's next from you i've completed my second that is uh, season's greeting i was mm -hmm. uh, it's a tribute to rituparna ghosh mm. you know uh, about mm -hmm. him i don't have to introduce rituparna ghosh Uh, it's a tribute to Rituparna Ghosh, but it's a mother and daughter relationship. I've got Selina Jetli and Lilit Dubey and Azhar Khan uh -huh. playing the lead in the film, and uh, it's beautiful. It's it's something unique. It's a different kind of a tribute that you get to see on screen because it is not a biopic. It is not a uh, rehash of his work. It is not even a remake of his work, uh -huh. any of his earlier work. But 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 it is a tribute. So how it is a tribute? You need to kind of see the film to understand. All I can say sure. is that if you are a Ritu Parna Ghosh admirer, connoisseur, fan, or critic, mm -hmm. then you'll know that where the tribute lies. Again, the the fight continues because you know we we got a lovely platform for Cakewalk. We got Rishte Cineplex to do worldwide premiere, and it became India's first uh, short film to get to a telegraph yeah, right. uh, right. platform. Uh, so I hope that with seasons getting something bigger something better will also happen. Yeah. And fingers are you, crossed. Are you are you hoping this starts changing the culture of how we perceive short films as a society? A lot of people called me and a lot of people congratulated me saying that you know you have opened a a gate for those who only thought yeah. that short films are made for YouTube and and yeah. you cannot monetize short film. Because that's really what I thought. I mean when I saw that you had this big worldwide premiere on mainstream cable television. <laughs> what what's going on here you know so uh, it's encouraging <laughs> thank you yeah 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 because yeah, you know you don't get to see a, a short film getting premiered on a movie channel which is number one movie channel in mm -hmm. in india uh, i didn't even realize that it became huge it is actually the media and fraternity friends like you um, they ca kind of constantly kept on telling me that oh no it's huge it's huge it's huge because it's never happened it happened first time 38 years ago with satyajit ray in sadgati um he yeah. made a 45 minute film called sadgati with smita patel and om puri right and that was premiered in doordarshan oh. and so after 38 years i think cake yeah, walk happened wow. so i guess that's huge there's always a silver lining <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah of course of course and hopefully this will open up doors for even yeah. maybe even shorter films to get that platform yeah i mean why not i mean if you if you see you know covid i Uh, there there are short film festivals there are short film awards mm -hmm. there are short film platforms so if you are giving them that recognition if you are saying that you know going to, we are going to kind of give an award and we are going to kind of you know mm -hmm. take you seriously where's the platform correct correct and i'm sure there's netflix there is amazon there is there is hotstar there are there's so many things that the, the, the up, yeah. up, so apart from focusing only on web series mm -hmm. which they are I I my honest and humble request to all of them that please I mean do see the shorts mm -hmm. 
because they are also cinema sure excellent thank you so much for thank taking you, out the thank time thank you thank this you thank you so much it was it was wonderful talking to you and, and this uh, was uh, i encourage everyone to go and see kick walk i think it's I think it's going to be a revolution in itself. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting for your review, so I'm hoping that you're going to see the film Absolutely. and, and you're going to give a review. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Do. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.